Uh, and the simple truth is that we are in this council and in the world as we see increasing reports in peril of allowing history to repeat itself. The same miserable history that compelled this council in 2005 to refer this Darfur situation to the ICC. We are, by any analysis, not on the precipice of a human catastrophe, but in the very midst of one. Sudan's history has been marked by a series of ethnic tensions, religious disputes, and armed conflicts over valuable resources. These events have shaped the nation's trajectory and left a profound impact on its people. Since gaining independence in 1956, Sudan has faced a turbulent political landscape characterized by frequent military coups. In fact, more than 15 coups have taken place in the country's history. The military has predominantly ruled Sudan with intermittent periods of democratic parliamentary rule. But what about the current situation? Well, in 2023, violent clashes erupted between the Sudanese Armed Forces, known as the SAF, and the Paramilitary Rapid Support Forces, known as the RSF. Resulting conflict resulted in the displacement of over 3 million people, including internally displaced people and refugees. The repercussions of these conflicts were so severe that a vast majority of Sudanese civilians were forced to seek refuge in the neighbouring country of Chad. In fact, according to the United Nations, the majority of these displaced individuals find themselves in the country, desperately seeking safety and shelter. We estimate now, UNHCR and the government, that some 100,000 have already crossed. Today we are here doing a food uh, distribution where we will give them a minimum ration for one month. They are mainly women and ch children, as you can see. They really need shelters. They, come, they are coming with nothing. We cannot leave the, the government of Chad responding alone to that response. In the roads, they took us everything, money, food, clothes, and even they killed, you know, the relatives and the friends, you know. That was a difficult time. Since the killing of the governor of El Janina, we have a massive, massive influx that is not stopping. And now you have every day the number keeps changing, of course but you have a massive, massive influx.